Hey everyone, Will Brink here, BrinkZone.com. A uh, new product to uh, discuss with you briefly. Um, so the makers of CreaPure, which is Alzchem, CreaPure is the German-produced creatine. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much discussion about that because I've covered that topic many times here and on BrinkZone and so forth, and I'll link some stuff below. But quick down and dirty background discussion before we discuss this new product. Only two places on the planet that large quantities of creatine are produced, and that is Germany and China. There is one company out of Germany, Alzchem, which makes Crea Pure, um, and there's a handful of companies out of China. Um, quality out of China is varies uh, from not great to very good, but uh, the batch-to-batch -batch quality can vary. There are other issues, uh, which again, I have covered many, many times. And um, so, if you're interested in those differences and why I've always recommended the German-based creatine under the uh, trade name Crea Pure, you can go read about that. I, I would assume if you're on this channel and this video and you know me, you already know the answers to all this. You know, if you are looking for, you say, well, how do I know um, well, there's how you know. Okay, hold on. Uh, all right, see that? Oh, God. Sorry, guys. All right, Korea Pure. See the little green logo? Well, that's what you're looking for. Done. It's that simple. Anyway, so what are we getting to? So the makers of Korea Pure um, have come up with a new product. It's a simple product, but it's a good product, uh, and that is micronized creatine, which they are calling... Uh, there you go. Crea Vitalis. And I will link the... Uh, let me see if I can bring this guy up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that is the uh, website, and I will link that below. Um, so yeah, Crea Vitalis. Doesn't exactly uh, roll off the tongue, does it? Um, but nobody asked me what I thought of the name. So basically what they have done is they are offering a standardized, micronized creatine monohydrate um, under that under that brand name. Now, some people will say, well, gee, that's pretty old news and what's the big deal? So, there's actually more to it than, than it may sound. Micronized creatine has been around a long time, on paper. Why do I say that? Because what we have had over the decades is um, many companies, maybe most, uh, have claimed they're offering micronized creatine when they're not. What do I mean by that? Well, there's no there's no standardized, agreed-on definition of micronize. What is micronize? Micronize basically is uh, particle size is, is ground up. They, you take the creatine, you put it through a milling process. There's, different, there's a couple different uh, possible ways of doing this milling process, which you can look up. But basically what you do is you take the, the particle size and you mill it down to a very, very fine powder. Um, and call it micronized. Now, the reason, like I say, that a lot of companies over the years, maybe most, have said that they're offering micronized creatine uh, is because they just take the standard creatine and call it micronized and uh, charge more for it or market it and make a big deal out of it. Uh, when they have not actually taken the creatine, put it through the milling process and brought it down to a very small particle size. Now, again, one of the, the problems there with this is, like I say, there's no agreed upon micronized particle size. It's more or less um, sort of an op sort of a gray area, I guess, if I was to say. So uh, what, so what uh, uh, Crea Pure Alzchem decided to do was to offer a micronized creatine with a, a standardized micronized uh, particle size. It's very, very fine. It will improve, greatly improve uh, mixability. Uh, one, really the only really major Achilles heel of, of creatine monohydrate is it's just not very soluble. So many people have had the, and I have a video here from way back that's gotten probably the most views of any of my videos uh, of just comparing the two between regular creatine uh, and micronized from, from way back. Um, so basically the Achilles heel of creatine monohydrate is that it's not very soluble. So you mix it in, especially if you're mixing it in cold liquid and water or whatever, uh, people complain about the grittiness of it, and you got to really uh, stir it for a long, long time. And I will tell you that if you take standard uh, creatine in standard size and you mix it in cold water 
and uh, come back in a half an hour or so, you will find that most of it has settled to the bottom uh, of the glass. It, it does not solubilize very easily. You, what you get um, as a mixture is just floating a bunch of particles. Now, not the end of the world. I mean, it has no taste. Now, one of the reasons, again, uh, this product that I developed, Alpha Joe Coffee Booster, basically you're obviously putting it in a warm liquid. You're putting it in coffee uh, or tea or whatever. And I like to, I like to point out uh, to people that in the early studies uh, looking at creatine, they mixed it in hot coffee and tea because it, it solubilized so easily. Um, regardless, and one of the, the quote-unquote tricks that I have mentioned for a long, long time uh, for people that have um, GI issues with creatine is if they solubilize it, I find that most people, if they pre-solubilize it in warm water or warm liquid or whatever, the GI issues go away. Um, creat creatine uh, is hydroscopic, which is that it pulls liquid into, into the GI tract. Uh, and for some people, I believe that is the major cause of uh, their GI problems. So if you pre-solubilize it in hot coffee, hot liquid, hot tea, hot water, whatever, uh, that seems to be cure the GI issues for most people. So a, a truly... Uh, micronized creatine that is uh, being offered now through CreaPure um, also just may be, uh, you know, will well rapidly solubilize the creatine, less stirring. Uh, now, is that an, in a hot liquid? Is that really an issue? Probably not. Uh, again, but a lot of people take their creatine or not taking a hot liquid. Now, a question I've gotten is, am I going to switch uh, from CreaPure to Crea Vitalis in Alpha Joe. I uh, haven't decided yet. I don't, it's not going to make a big difference, but I might do it anyway, just because again, it'll just be a quicker, even, even quicker, should I say, uh, mixture solubilization uh, of the Crea Pure or the Crea Vitalis. Basically, for, to simplify, basically what is Crea Vitalis? It is micronized Crea Pure, so under a, under a different name. So, uh, I'll, like I say, I will uh, link, let me get, get back to this. I will link uh, the, for manufacturers, this, the Crea Vitalis is not being sold, uh, understand, is not being sold at, uh, as a, um, uh, to end users, to, to single user type stuff. This was, they made these just for um, uh, samples at the show that I was at. Uh, this is more of a manufacturer type, uh, buying in bulk to put in products type of, uh, uh, type of uh, product at this time. That's pretty much how Crea Pure is. Um, and they'll have just like uh, just like they have a list of companies that sell Crea Pure on their Crea Pure website. There will be a, a, no doubt a list of companies that sell Crea Vitalis. But uh, micronized creatine will be more useful for um, certain applications, mixing into certain powder products and that type of thing. Uh, will mix easier. Will solubilize easier. So while it doesn't seem like a big deal, I think it will be an excellent one-stop shop. Uh, micronized creatine for companies that want to use genuine micronized creatine. Uh, normally what you had to do was uh, <clears throat> send your creatine monohydrate uh, through a, for additional processing through a micronized um, process, which added cost and added uh, uh, time and all that. So this will be a one-stop shop um, product for companies that want to add genuine, legit micronized creatine to their product. So sort of it's not like super duper cutting edge, but I do think, like I said, I think there's a real value uh, in this product w because, like I say, a lot of companies, which uh, I think this is why uh, Crea Pure or Allschem decided to offer this product, was a lot of companies were claiming to offer micronized creatine when they really weren't. So I think that's really the, the bottom line on that. I hope this uh, information uh, is useful. If you've got questions, uh, ask below, sub up, obviously, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll see you guys on the Brink Zone.